There's little doubt that one of the hopes of Amber Heard is that she won't have to step into many courtrooms in the near future. Granted, her team is currently prepping to get her ready for an appeal of the defamation case that she lost to her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, so that's at least one time she might have to go back if the appeal gets approved. However, there are other circumstances that need to be addressed, mainly in that because of what happened in both the defamation case, the libel case in the UK, and potential new evidence of conspiracy on Amber Heard's part. Things might be taking a much darker turn for her soon. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Number 4. The Perjury Issue This is not exactly a new topic, but it's one that needs to be presented again due to recent developments. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. The Johnny Depp and Amber Heard defamation saga might not be over just yet. Heard's attorneys have filed a 43-page motion in an attempt to get the court to overturn the judgment against the Aquaman star. Because you might recall that during Johnny Depp's time filming Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, he had Amber Heard with him and she smuggled some dogs in that she wasn't supposed to due to laws in Australia where they were filming. She got out of it by blaming Depp and others in court and she tried to make it clear that no, it was not her fault. Except in the UK libel case, and the defamation case, things were brought to light that made it clear that things were her fault and that she lied under oath. The, his, his dog, um, slightly chunkier um, teacup Yorkie, and he grabs this teacup Yorkie and holds Boo out of the window of the moving car. And he's howling like, like an animal. Fast forward to very recently in Australia, one of the Senates that were in charge of this line of rule breaking took a question about Amber Heard and her perjury status and they admitted that they were indeed investigating the issue. And this has been uh, bandied about on the internet quite a bit. Uh, the dogs were brought into the country and were not quarantined properly as they should have been. And there are some emails floating around out there uh, where Amber Heard was actually asking her assistant and some other people, hey, can we find a vet we can grease to, you know, fudge some paperwork? Uh, so this was a big deal when it happened in Australia because Australia has some very, very serious rules. Not something Heard wants to hear. The woman who spoke at the event noted that lying under oath was a crime in various ways and there was testimony that came from the UK case that seemed to prove that she was indeed lying under oath. Perjury investigation involving Amber Heard in Australia. Now this all dates back to 2015 when Heard illegally brought her two teacup Yorkies that she shared with Johnny Depp. Uh, their names were Pistol and Boo, into the country. To be clear, there is no timetable on this investigation or what it might mean for Heard in terms of getting arrested or not. Plus, given that Heard is in the U.S., it's doubtful the country will force her to come down under so that she can be tried. The filing lists a number of reasons why they believe the verdict should be tossed, including problems with Juror 15. Heard's attorneys state that the court should investigate whether Juror 15 properly served on the jury. The court noted that the individual had a birth year of 1945. However, publicly available information demonstrates that he appears to have been born in 1970. According to Heard's team, this discrepancy raises the question of whether Juror 15 actually received a summons for jury duty and was properly vetted by the court to serve on the jury. But the fact that this is an option at all is something that she has to worry about, especially if other perjury accounts are put to her, which was suggested multiple times in regards to the LAPD who were largely involved in the various bets that Heard and Depp had. But that's not the only thing she has to fear currently. Number three, the email reveal. <laughs> That befuddles me. This is a, this, the text of this email, if it had come out on trial, goes to the heart of uh, Mr. Depp's defense. Waldman had a good faith basis for believing that that second 911 call, if not the whole incident in the penthouse, was just a hoax. An email regarding the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case has been leaked, containing information about the 2016 event when the police visited Depp's penthouse after responding to a DV call. A lot has been going around ever since the high-profile defamation trial ended. So that goes to the jury instruction on that one defamatory statement that was found in favor of Miss Heard. Why this did not come out at trial, either this email or this conversation, 
I don't understand. Uh, and all I can say is this, it's too little too late. It's not gonna change anything. It obviously did not with this judge. While the Pirates of the Caribbean star went on to celebrate the victory, Heard spoke about the disappointment she faced after the verdict was out. It is said the Aquaman 2 actress is now going to write a revenge book that will dish out everything as she has nothing to lose. Is his ex Amber Heard in talks to write a multi-million dollar revenge book? You know, I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes, but I've always told the truth. A source tells ET Amber is confident that her side will come out eventually and she has a plan and strategy to make a comeback over the next year. Now while talking about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, an email between Depp's legal team Adam Waldman, Ben Chu and Camille Vasquez is going viral. The mail is allegedly about a conversation between Adam and JD's friend Josh Drew about the time when the cops were called to the actor's house over domestic AB claims in 2016 by Heard. Rocky Pennington, who was present that night, um, that her husband at the time, Josh Drew, who we heard from during the trial, had told him uh, that Rocky was hiding in the penthouse that night, uh, that she didn't just enter when Amber wanted her to come in. He's he's making this sound like he has information um, that this was indeed, as he claims, a hoax. The email mentioned that Amber Heard called Josh Drew's ex-wife Raquel, Rocky Pennington, not the martial artist, to help with a berserk Johnny Depp was a lie and they waited to ambush him. It further detailed Amber Heard's extramarital relationship with Elon Musk and stated that they were into some kinky things. Obviously, this email could bring various things into question, not the least of which is further proving the theory that Amber Heard has been lying about this whole thing. Dresses that one def defamatory statement that was found in Miss Heard's favor uh, regarding, I call it the hoax, and this Exhibit A tries to persuade the judge that the jury's finding was not supported was not supported by anything that was in evidence. This is a weak argument. I, I frankly think that Exhibit A is more a PR piece than a legal piece. And that she was using her friends to try and set up Johnny for a domestic AB charge. However, we do need to note that this email hasn't been verified, and it wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to fake if you knew the proper information. But if it is true, this is going to further turn people against Amber Heard because they're going to see her and those who tried to support her during this whole situation as frauds, and they might just be that. And do recall that in the defamation trial, she was found guilty of defamation, with one of the jurors in the case coming forward and stating that many of Amber Heard's statements didn't add up at all. Crying, the facial expressions that she had, the staring at the jury, all of us were very uncomfortable. She would answer one question and she would be crying, and two seconds later, she would turn ice cold. Some of us use the expression crocodile tears. I didn't think he knew what he was doing. I don't know how. They also discounted both Depp and Heard's friendly witnesses because they knew that they would likely cancel each other out, and they honestly did. But naturally, Amber Heard is going to try and appeal the jury's verdict, which might be a bit harder to do than she realized it would. Number two, verdicts and appeals. On Depp's side, a lot of the jury felt what he was saying at the end of the day was more believable. He just seemed a little more real in terms of how he was responding to questions. His emotional state was very stable throughout. It could begin with, you know, throwing a TV remote at my head. It could be... The judge overseeing the defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard finalized the verdict in the case on the 24th, sealing off any possibility of the two actors reaching a last-minute settlement. A representative for Heard indicated she plans to appeal the verdict. While the judge finalized Johnny's win, Amber still isn't done. Her spokesperson said today, you don't decline to appeal if you know you are right. But legal expert Julie Rendleman says this could cost her. In order for Amber Heard to appeal, she must post the judgment that was found against her by the jury, which is over $10 million. She has now less than 30 days to file a notice of appeal. If you recall, the jury took his side in all three of his claims against Heard and granted him $10 million in compensatory damages and an additional $5 million in punitive damages. They gave Heard just one victory out of her three counterclaims and granted her $2 million in compensatory damages. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. 
As against Amber Heard, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. Judge Penny S. Escarte, who presided over the six-week trial in Fairfax County, Virginia, didn't enter the jury verdict into the docket immediately. Instead, she said Depp and Heard had until June 24th to come up with a settlement, which she would enter instead of the verdict. If they failed to reach a settlement, the jury verdict would stand. They didn't, so it has. End of story? Not quite. In a contentious back and forth with Escarte, Heard's main attorney, Elaine Bredehoft, sought to set a briefing schedule and more for a proposed appeal for her client. Escarte bluntly told Bredehoft that if she wanted to appeal the verdict from the seven-person jury, the lawyer would have to file motions with the court. Escarte also informed Heard's attorney that the Aquaman star will have to put up an $8.35 million bond with 6% interest per year for any appeal to formally move forward. In addition, she has to post 6% of that judgment each year in order to go forward with that appeal. Trial breakout star Camille Vasquez wasn't in court, but was spotted out, all smiles, in New York City yesterday. Johnny's believed to be in Norway, though his concert scheduled there for tonight has been postponed. According to media there, someone in his band has COVID. What that means is simple. In total, and after certain amounts were revised, Amber Heard owes Johnny Depp $8.35 million due to the verdict amounts. If she wanted to try and appeal it, she actually has to put up the money to ensure that she can pay it else not get the appeal at all. This is likely being done so that stall tactics on payments can't be done. And that's very important to note because Amber Heard's lawyers made it very clear on TV in a post-trial interview that Heard cannot afford to pay the settlement. Is she able to pay a $10.4 million judgment? Oh no, absolutely not. So if she's going to try an appeal, she needs to put up the money else not even get the chance to make a change in the verdict that was made. All in all, it's not a good time to be Amber Heard, and it's not likely to get any better. Number one, what are her options? This is a good question. There are some reports that Heard is already trying to file the appeal and possibly selling stuff so that she can make up the money. She could also get a loan from people like, say, Elon Musk. That would be enough to get the bond so she can file for an appeal. The tell-all would make sense. Amber is financially strapped. She also has kept a love journal documenting her volatile relationship with Johnny and was frequently seen taking notes in court. But the twist there is that just because you file an appeal doesn't mean you'll get it. They can be denied as Johnny Depp found out the hard way in the UK libel trial. Her other option is to let it go and try and move on, which is something Heard said she wanted to do in the trial, except due to her position and the way people are talking about her, that might not be an option at all. And if these other charges or potential reveals land her back in court for different reasons, she'll be getting assaulted on all sides and it'll very much be her own fault. And there you have it, everyone. A look at the latest going on against Amber Heard and whether this might honestly affect her standing and her legal status going forward. Do you think that either of these things will lead to Amber Heard being arrested again or having more charges brought against her? Or do you think she'll get out of this situation somehow? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.